What's up, Kerbal Knots? This is Noel on PC, head of the Experimental Research Division here at the Kerbal Space Program, and today we're going to try and capture an E-Class. The trick with capturing an E-Class is to, because they're so big and heavy, the trick is, is to find one that's on a collision course, go out and meet it, and then just alter its path just enough so that it sort of duck hooks in, you know, shallow. Um, you don't want to, you don't want to air brake. Just, just so we're clear, you do not want to bring it down to like 30,000 meters because it just won't air brake. It'll just fall into the atmosphere unless you just, just skim, just skim the atmosphere for just a second and let it do that. But eventually on one of the passes, it's going to fall into the atmosphere. So you want to bring it close, maybe a hundred thousand meters. I did a quarter million meters because it's, it's nice and easy. So yeah, you want to bring it into an orbit and then just every time you hit periapsis, just slow it down a little more, a little more. It is tedious, tedious work, but the results are amazing. So now what we're doing is we have, I believe enough parachute. So that's why I've decided to just try it. And worst case scenario, we'll do a load and come back and add some more parachutes. So this is my little uh, asteroid catching device. Well, one, one of, <laughs> this is the th third one that I used to get this thing into a nice orbit. Uh, the first one was just to get it near Kerbin. The second one was to sculpt it to a more planular 90 degree equatorial kind of orbit. And the third one was just to make it the orbit round so that this rendezvous would be a lot easier. Each, each rendezvous was less difficult than the last. So, you know, that's, that's kind of how you want to do it. Um, now this craft is kind of just space debris. Um, we could crash it into the earth. We could do that. Because we want this thing to burn up on re-entry. We don't want it to just float around until it eventually hits, you know, the Curb National Curb Station or something important. So we're going to flip her around. We're going to brake like crazy. Oh, shite. Well, that was a close one. Doing a flyby. A little drift turn. Woo! Woo! All right, that was a close one. Just about knocked off some parachutes. <laughs> I'm just going to do this. Now I wonder, can I just... Nice. <laughs> So it should just be on a on a brake slash collision course. It'll just go until it runs out of fuel, I guess. Um, yeah. I don't want to just leave it fuel running, actually, now that I put some thought into it. It's like, you know, that could come back to haunt me someday. <laughs> Where maybe it doesn't fall back into Earth, and I'm like, you know, months later doing some science or something somewhere, and this thing comes out of nowhere and just smokes us. All right, so we're going to bring it down to like 25 or something. There we go. That should be enough to burn up on reentry. And I can't get back to my target. I hate that. <laughs> I fucking hate that. The game should kind of know that I was paralleling between the two crafts um, and allow me to go back. I don't care about a 1,000 meter distance gap. That's irrelevant to me. Okay. All right. So we are... Where's... Okay, I want to untarget this thing. No? Focus curve. No, I want to target curve. <sighs> Game. Fuck off. <laughs> I fucking hate this part. This is so fucking annoying. 
I have no, it's, uh, this craft is still targeting, let's go around to the sunny side so we can actually see what the fuck's going on. The stupid craft is still targeting the stupid asteroid. Oh, Orbit 2000? Okay, now it's not? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Game, please, get your shit together. You're embarrassing both of us. Got a little bit of roll going on, but that's okay. Where the fuck are we? Is that us? Is that us? Where are we? I'm so confused. Curb National Curb Station. Is that it? That's it right there, okay. walking around quite a bit. Not a fan of that, but that's that's how you do this. You do this little tiny baby steps at a time. I probably can't fight it with RCS, can I? Let's see if I can fight it with full throttle vectoring. Nope. Let's try freeing the pivot. Freeing the pivot sometimes helps. We are targeted on center of mass basically perfectly, but because this thing isn't round, that's another unfortunate thing about this, is that the targeting the center of mass does not mean that you're targeting the center of mass. It means you're targeting, like, it is the center of mass, but it doesn't affect um, the thrust and all of this torque and stuff. It doesn't affect the game right. I'm adamant, I'm, I'm certain that this is not the way things would behave if you were actually targeting the center of mass. Thinking about decoupling and finding a new spot, but you, no matter where you pick, it's always going to do this. It's always going to wander around. And I've done this a lot. I've caught in at least 10 asteroids, and I've never had one where the pull is actually straight on. It's basically, it's doing this. You just give a little burn, you let the thing walk around, and then you burn again, and then you let it walk around, and then you burn again, and then you let it walk around, you burn again, and you just keep doing it over and over and over and over and over. <laughs> uh, it's very annoying. It is very fucking annoying, especially because there's Cape Curbnaveral. So we definitely missed this pass. But yeah, let's uh, I don't know, let's do some movie magic and see how long it takes to get this shit done. All right, I will be right back. Okay, we're out of gas, and that's gonna have to do. Used a lot of RCS to get that last little bit of speed off. The first one came up a little long in the ocean, so we did another 10 or 15 seconds of RCS burn. And we still got that left. Okay, good. Um, so we are in basically a collision course with the Earth. So yeah, let's, uh, let's ride this out and just kind of see what happens. What I am going to do is preemptively put these away. For really, for no reason. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, there we go. I just hate seeing them break off. <laughs> Makes me feel like less of a man. All right, fingers crossed, everybody. Fingers crossed. Here we go, here we go. Still got quite a ways to go. There's land. Looks like we might come up a little short. I might have burned for too long. Um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of this guy. We're going to do release and then a little burn. Okay. Back to this guy. Nope, not that one. Back to this one. There we go. Parachute's out. All right. So we're all at the mercy. 
This little guy is in a landing collision course. There we go. Turn those off so it'll just be at the mercy of gravity. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's like a giant game of golf. Going for that hole in one right there. Going for dat hole in one. All right. Actually, this looks really good, doesn't it? This looks really good. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Where is the other craft? There she is, doing her re-entry physics. Actually, we're all really close together. This is really neat. Oh, there goes the parachutes and the parachutes. Oh, that thing's heavier, so let's get back to this thing. This thing's going to rocket ahead while that thing really slows down. This thing has no parachutes, so it's going to rocket ahead and just explode. try and get those RCSs to get rid of this warble. All right, and we're coming down basically right where I had predicted, actually, just a bit to the left. Yeah, just a bit to the left of the runway and very short because last time in the, in the previous runs, I think I came out way out there and then the next one was like way out here. And then I used some RCS, because we were out of fuel, like around here. Used a bit of RCS to just pull it back, and I thought I had burned enough RCS to get it to about here, but it looks, unfortunately, like it's probably going to come up. I'm really hoping it comes up on this side of the mountain, because it'll actually roll into the valley. If we have to push it up this hill to get it to Cape Curb Navarro, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to have to do. Shit. That's unfortunate. Um, I, I assume I could probably build kind of like a bulldozer type thing that can basically just roll this thing sort of one roll at a time and get it over to Cape Curb Navarro. We're going to, the plan is, is to basically make a little asteroid museum, essentially, uh, something that can sort of display them maybe with light up stuff. Let's see, can I, nope, not that way. Yeah, there we go. I'm burning RCS in a braking position, just trying to get it to slow down because I have a feeling. These things are going to rip right out of there. Oh, okay. So we just lost a couple. Good stuff. That RCS burn must have helped. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. The RCS did nothing. All right. So we are in a valley, but there is like a low spot right there. So we're going to push this thing, we're going to build a craft to push this thing sort of flank around towards one of these low spots and then out and towards Cape Curb Navarro. So that'll be a future video. I probably won't even make a video for just the push. That would just, that seems silly because um, the craft is basically just going to be a giant tank like rover and it's going to, you know, do its, do its thing. All right, so here is Jeb, little Jeb coming down like a true hero. like a champ, catching an E-class asteroid, like a boss. Boink! There we go, cute little lander, sinking into the ground for some reason. Its legs can't support itself. Okay, good to know. Did I break? I broke two of them. Lock suspension. Lower legs, yeah. It broke. What a pussy. What a pussy. All right, guys. Well, I hope you like this video. I hope you share it, comment, and fave, and do all that stuff you guys do as YouTubers. Meanwhile, in the next time, I'm going to get cracking on moving that thing over towards Cape Curb Navarro, and then we are going to do a couple future videos of gathering the smaller asteroids and landing them one at a time, and then we're going to make our museum. All right, guys. Until next time, peace, love, cheers.